this episode of Paranormal Nightmare, my brothers and I travel to Indiana to investigate the livery house. We can't help but notice the hundreds of vultures flying over the house as we pull up. With recent reports of demonic activity taking place from inside this house, my brothers and I meet with some of the local investigators. The demon, he'll float across the whole floor. We've had people go in there and taunt him to get him to come out. And he did, he reached through the wind, or the mirror and grabbed him and uh, just took possession of his body. And he sat in here for an hour, glassy eyed, didn't know what was going on. He left, walked outside in the middle of the night, went to his truck and he sat out there for almost an hour before anybody had found him. He had never been in the house before. He went in there and he said, you can come home with me. And the next thing we knew, he walked in there and sat. And then we did a couple more tours. He was there for the majority of the tours. And we get up and he was gone. And the people out by the fire said he walked out the door, down those rickety steps, all the way out here, got in the truck and sat. And when we found him, he had no clue well, what happened. Had yeah, he no had no idea happened. he was even out in the truck after an hour later. We had a guy that was going to go in there and he kind of started walking in. He's like, I'm not going in there. Just didn't feel right. It just, he just wouldn't go down. The feeling of when you hit the hit the door is just awful. The house messes with me really bad. I have a hard time going upstairs just because I can't breathe upstairs at all. Any amount of time I spend in the house, I get a headache, my back starts hurting, and I start feeling sick. It's where the demon lives. There is a, actually a demon that comes through a portal from the, from the basement up, and his only transport is through the mirror. He will come through that mirror after, if you sit and taunt him. And we've had one person that's actually got it. Friend Larry, he's an elderly guy. That's the guy we were talking about earlier. And it, it actually reached through and grabbed him and it took possession of his body. And there's a second one that will appear right up here in the ceiling and they're almost like clockwork all the time. We can set it up and there he is, both of them. Now if the other one, the stronger one, what we call the demon, if he shows up, those will go away. And pretty much all of them would feel a, a male presence that a not very nice person. There's been five or six different families that lived here. All the men that have lived in the house, they've all been drinkers, they've all been kind of nasty to women, they've all been kind of assholes. And then there's a little girl named Mary, which we haven't ever been able to get documentation on of a Mary living here or anything. But there's a little girl named Mary that most of the groups would run into. She doesn't like the man, she runs from him. You know, she he's coming, he's coming on the ghost box. And, and then she'd be gone. And we've had groups come in that have tried to protect her and we've never been able to get that done. And have you had investigators attacked in here? Oh yeah, we've had. 40 or 50 groups come through. The spirit from up here, we watched it on the SLS go into her, jump into her. Kept so. saying Larry, 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 and death, yeah, death and death. heart attack. Come to find out the other investigator, it was one of her friends named Larry that died that night, so. right after he said that. And why won't you go to the basement? It's that's where the demon lives. I, it's just a feeling of dread. I'm not, I'm not going down there. Yeah, I, I just prefer not to. Hit out there, pinched, touched, scratched. His daughter was actually scratched. My daughter was scratched. She had three, scratch, she had she had three had scratch marks on her leg. And, and when we took the picture, we could see the light the meters had lit up and it kept saying abuse, abuse, abused. And it, it tends to repeat words over and over. And so, more active within the last two years. Yeah, yeah it, it's increased in the last couple of years. Do you think that because people coming in? I think and... because the people coming in and the, the, the condition of the house, and I just think a, a combination of many things. So what experiences do you have throughout the house? My son was holding a meter. As he was holding the meter, Gary was, was talking and asking questions. An orb flew over his shoulder, the meter lit up, it went into the attic. As soon as it went in the attic, the meter turned off. Got about three quarters of the way up the top and they would see some shadow figures across the in the in the back part of the house back there from the top of the stairs. But we weren't allowing them to go any further because of the condition. This door has been nailed shut multiple times. It doesn't stay shut. Lots of times when people walk by, they'll feel something reach out and grab them. But you can see the nails, they're not pried out. It looks like it's been pushed from the inside out. Is this Randy that we keep getting in that kitchen, he was a blacksmith and it killed somebody and dropped their body in the well outside. And these are things that came through on our And this our has all come box. through our boxes on this. Woman that comes in here, she was like a housekeeper and she's done the same thing. Have any of the other people lived here had paranormal experiences? When the Pirtles lived here, the youngest in that family, she um, she she said, "See, I wasn't playing." She said she always slept with her parents because she never would would sleep in her own bedroom here, and even up till she was like older, like ten or eleven. Another family, when the Spencers lived here, there was a lady in town that would go there 
would spend the night here and um, they would always think that the boys were messing with them all the time and coming up the stairway and they'd come piling down and nobody would be there and they thought the boys were hiding and now they wonder if something went on. I can tell you that this house sat empty without anybody with the doors unlocked for 25 years and not once did any teenagers come in and that was even after every kid in town had done a haunted house in here two years in a row. Nobody ever came in, nobody hung out, but kids never ever came up and did anything in this house, which is really weird considering, you know, it was empty for 25 years and pretty much every kid in town knew it was empty, so it'd be a great party house. Smoke is. Yeah. I've been in a lot of the most haunted places in America, and this is the only place after being called Satan and being named the devil, I will not go down. It will, it will, ta it, it will come out after you. And I have not been back. I won't even go down there. Th that basement is the most haunted demon spot that I've ever seen in my life. And really, it's just, it's just horrendous down there. There's not been anybody in that basement for over three years. Good luck. down here at night by yourself might be a totally different story. Yeah, and I feel that Josh is going to make me do that, so. Oh, good luck. You guys haven't been upstairs yet, have you? No. Well, you guys want to go up there real quick? Yeah. He mapped a figure in here. Because my son was on this side, he had the meter, meter turns red, orb flies over his shoulder, goes in that room. So this is where we feel that portal's at. So that's where we had some activity up here, and then we had lots of orb, orb activity. Doug. What'd you get? I thought it said Doug. But we get names, and considering this was a boarding house, I mean, there is multiple, you know, over the years, there's been families and tons and tons of people, so. Ethan. Ethan. Had Doug and Ethan. Doug and Ethan. Help. help. I got help. Help who? <laughs> Who's Ethan? Or Doug? Watching you. Watching you. I asked her, what's the deal with the chair? Watching you. Yeah. This, this room, this, when we have groups come, this is a room that they get a lot of activity out of. They come in here and they sit and... Then the other shadow figure they saw towards the end back there go into the attic. Listen. I'm listening. Who's watching me? Know what it said? It said listen. I'm listening. God. It said God. It said, it said, it said Doug, Ethan, uh, watching you. Listen, now it said go. Scratch. Scratch. Oh. <laughs> so watch out. Along with the house to investigate tonight, there is also a stagecoach next door, which also has reports of activity. We heard a lot of different stories about what went on in the house, and we've got, you know, documentation of there was one guy that died in the house. They had the funeral in the house, but that was a pretty normal thing for them to do is have a funeral in the house. In the last year, the man that's in the house that bothers me so bad, he's been in here twice when I've came over. But this is where a lot of the activity from this place is, is gotten is back in here. So it seems like this house has got a reputation around town for being haunted. Yeah. Nobody would go in there alone. Everybody waited for a group. You'd stand outside and wait till somebody else got there. This is a rough town. I mean, there's a lot of drugs, there's a lot of alcohol. Nobody ever broke into the house and tore things up. Nothing, and everybody knew the house was open. It, this wasn't a place I wanted to hang out at, no. As the sun finally begins to set, and the vultures still watching my brothers and I, we get our equipment set up and begin our investigation. And there's parts of this house that they would not go into because the activity is so bad. There's reports of people being attacked by demons inside this house specifically the basement. Several people have had attachments while investigating this house. So the owners contacted us to come out and investigate and see if we could figure out what's going on here. And we've documented stuff during the day too. And we were just live and we heard something in that back room. This house has got no heat, no power, no running water. So any of our equipment that goes off, it's not anything electrical setting it off. See that Oh yeah, it's on the screen. Here. 
try to come down as low as you can. Anyone that's inside this house, my name is Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We're here tonight to communicate with you. Who was in that? Uh, that's just our breath. No, that was tapping, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. I thought you seen wow. it. I don't know. I hear beside me or I don't know if I can hurt something. A lot of investigator that's been in here refused to come inside this house today. Who is scaring everybody that comes in this house? They do see a lot of dark shadows. So we'll have to pay attention to that. Can you hit something for us? Let's go out and grab this alarm. What the hell? What? Yeah, something. Uh, that was a definitely, definitely a freaking orb, I'm thinking. It went from, like, your head down to that uh, floor or whatever, right off to your left, be your left. There was a freaking orb. Grab me, Rocky, you got the keys. I got them. I should stick one of these in that room. Dude. Okay, so we got the alarms set throughout the house. We got alarms in the kitchen upstairs. In this room, we got the 360 puck. Okay, we got alarms inside the house. If you move past them or try touching one of them, you can communicate with us that way. I like something moved upstairs. Yeah. We want to hear you. Can you do something louder? They said that door over there slams. Or another door right yeah, there slams. Right there. This door right here. I know I've been sitting here watching it. They've had to move. They said there's something demonic in the basement. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I just seen a shadow go whoa, up, that up was the loud. stairs. Up the stairs? Yeah, right, right beside you. It's up against the wall. It's in the kitchen. That's where the basement is. No, it's right there in that room. Whatever. I know, but the Where's basement's it? right over there. It's right in there with the puck. Are you in this room? Can we hear you? So let me sit for a second. I don't see that thing up across the stairs. You thought you see a shadow? Yeah. Are you outside the house? If you're out there, you can come in here. We welcome you into this house. If you're upstairs, can you walk down the steps a little bit just to let me know you're here? I got a device that will help you talk to me if you want to. Can you tell me what your name is? Did you ever scratch somebody? I was told somebody was standing here and they got hit by a door. Can you open that door? Do you like being caught? 
called a demon? Did you hear that? I thought I heard something. If you're not a demon and you don't like being called that, can you tell me what your name is, please? Did you live here at one time? They say this house was many things. Did you enjoy your time while you was here? Amy. Hello, Amy. Look at that. Right where we kept hearing something. Mm -hmm. Come on, you need to come out and talk to us. We know that you've scared a lot of investigators that's been in here. Tonight, we want to be scared. Tonight, we want to experience you. You've scared so many people that they won't even come back in this house. Can you do that to us? Amy, can you hear me? The one they call the demon, are you up here with us? I heard that. I heard it too. If you could, you possessed somebody at one time. If you can do that, then you can do something to one of us. Tell me what your name is. The only name I got for you is Demon. I don't want to call you that. I want to call you something else. What'd you hear, Rocky? Something walk right before he walked. Is there somebody in here? Come on, you've scratched people, you've hit people, you've scared them half to death, you possess somebody. Do something to one of us, please. At least let me know you're here. I hear something out here in this by these stairs. Is it okay for us to be in this house? I'll tell you, if you would have heard his going off though, and oh, he's got, got the same thing. We got it all on video. I don't know. He's he's got well, the same. What? Dude, that was loud. What'd you hear? I don't know what. The, it's I don't know. Something moved. It's down this hallway. Did we just hear you in the hallway? Can you walk up behind Josh? Touch him on his back. Try to scare him so he's, he leaps. If you have to scratch him or hit him or something. Or Sean, what if you stay in the house and Rocky and I will go out to the stable? If I stay down there for okay. right now, at least till I get used to Make sure you have the battery on you just in case. But we need to run them as far as we can tonight. All the batteries? Yeah, because yeah. you don't have any power. These steps are f***ing steep. I don't know why I can't walk this through the camera. Hey! Stop here, man. Is it a little kid? Yeah, it sounded like a little kid screaming or yell. They said they heard a little kid here. Ice camper. Hey, stop here, here, man. Is it a little kid? I swear he said stop. Hello? Is it okay if I stay in this house by myself? Is it not safe for Josh and Rocky to go out to the barn? Okay, we're going down then. Man, that was really clear too. I mean, I'm not positive if it's that, but 
it's kind of what it sounded like. But yeah, it was a little pit. You guys should go down to the basement, Josh. Okay. And that way, if you go down there and it pushes it up, or if we're with like one of us being up here, it's pushing it down to the basement. Yeah, because all the people that have been attacked here have been from what? whatever demonic thing was in the basement. Yeah. Okay, so Rocky and I are getting ready to go down to the basement where a lot of the demonic activities taking place, where a majority of the investigators have been attacked. Some have been possessed. We're going to leave Sean in the house, and hopefully he can document some activity. So good luck, Sean. Hey. Hey, Sean, good luck. Come on, Rocky. That was creepy. I swear I just see a shadow right over here. So Sean's inside the house by himself. Rocky and I are out here. We're going to go down into the basement. My name's Sean. Earlier in the kitchen, on my device, it came across that Amy. Is there an Amy in here? If there's an Amy, can you set an alarm off? Let me know that it's you. And I can come into there and talk to you. Hey, Sean. What? Let's go back and forth asking questions so I can ask him some, some okay, stuff. Go ahead. Whoever's in the basement that's been attacking people and possessing people, show yourself to Rocky and I right now. People are afraid to come down here. Why are they afraid of you? Josh! Noises! Okay, talk to it. Can you do that again? Sean's up in the house by himself. Josh. Sean's not afraid of you. Holy sh Hit something really hard for Sean. There goes again. Oh. It's hard like to come in there. No. What the? That's just a like falling off. Dude, that sounded like it walked down here. Come in here. We're not afraid of you. It's like something just blew straight into my face, cold and wet. Oh! Something's walking. I think it's starting to get used to me in here. I'm not sure why I'm getting closer to the camera because I really don't think it's going to help, but... but you know why? Because this is all concrete right around us. That's what I'm saying. They, it shouldn't be coming from the right. Hello? Josh! What? I'm hearing all kinds of freaking noises now. We're getting stuff down here too. Because if it is something demonic, it knows it's not going to just come out and do whatever you tell it to do. Who's blowing in my face? Whoa, that was on the leaves. Yeah. It's the footsteps that's getting me. Oh, I got it right here. You feel it? I feel it on my face too. Yeah. And it's cold, and that's because, colder than cold. Yeah, yeah. Did you live here alone? Um, whoa, 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 whoa. That was fucking loud.
Dude, something moved right back here. We don't think you're a demon. Okay, let's go upstairs. Screw this basement. Okay, I'm gonna leave this camera. I'm gonna leave it filming. I'm gonna step outside. Hopefully catch catch one of these doors moving. Cause I need a break. Oh crap. I just hit that freaking table. But yeah, I keep hearing footsteps. Hell, I heard a door. But when we were down there, that's what that sounded like. Something walking on the leaves. And then at one time it sounded like the concrete steps. And then the wood. Yeah. So I'm sitting in there, okay? So I ask questions here. Still hearing your guys' voices down there. So I'm like, there was something I heard out in the kitchen. I was like, okay, I gotta get out of here. So I'm hearing your voices as I'm walking out. And I walk out the door, straight over to the basement. You guys are out here. Hmm. You're not even in the basement. Yeah. And I heard your voice. Oh, what did they tell us? It mimics. Go in there, but that camera's still setting up. But go in there just for a few couple minutes. Okay, so right now I'm inside the house by myself. Sean and Rocky went to the basement. My name's Josh. Who are you? Can you please set off one of my alarms? Can you do that again? If it was a godly spirit, they could do it. A demonic spirit can't do it. All you can do is little knocks and little noises. Come here, feel this. Hurry up. Just put your hand back here. Behind my head. It's been f***ing blown on me the whole time we've been down here. If you're a demon, you should be strong. We want to learn about what it's like on the other side. Whoa. No f***ing way. Whoa! What the f was that? Holy sh! Sean, come up here. You can clearly see this bag move across the table at the exact same time I heard this loud crashing sound. It's walking upstairs. Let us know if you're here with us. <gasps> it literally sounded like something ran up his f***ing steps. Okay, you did better. What else can you do? Are you in the crawl space under the house? We'd like you to come out and do something, Lesnar. You're still here with us. There's a lot of things you can move down here. Come down those steps again.
That sounds like scooting, doesn't it? No way. What's that? I have no fing clue. Sounds like it was right beside me. Thank you. I keep hearing something upstairs. So I'm gonna head back there. It's definitely creepy as back here. And this door right here is the one that they've caught on camera opening. They said you opened one of these doors. Can you do that for me? Okay, let's get over here. I think I keep sinking more and more. Yeah, I'm not going up the stairs by myself. I was in that house and I was still hearing your guys' voice. And I walk out here and come straight. I mean, I walked out and came straight here. And you guys are freaking way over than the... Something freaking hit those stairs so freaking hard. Like some... I don't know if it was running up or running down the stairs. Yeah, I heard too. I heard was in the kitchen and in there. It was so freaking loud. Okay, I got an alarm on the stairs. If you walk past that alarm, we can hear you. Can you set that alarm off for us? Let's back out of here and see if the alarm goes off. Oh. Thank you. Can you back away from it? I'm over here, back away from it. Despite this house having no electricity, our alarms continue to spike for over 30 minutes. The f is going crazy in here. Can you turn the light back on? Oh. Well, would you hear that behind oh, me? That was behind Sean. Huh? That was behind you. Yeah, that's why I said. Are you behind me? Shut that alarm off, please. Thank you. Is that this one? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Can you shut it off again and leave it off? Thank you. Yeah, that's crazy, Josh, because I think this is where the guy was sat and went over by himself, and then he ended up walking out to his truck mm -hmm. and not remembering, you know, going out there. We got a alarm setting on the table. Can you make it go off again for me? It's right in the middle of the room in front of the fireplace. Can you set it off? Shut that SV7 off for me. It shut it off for you. <laughs> Interesting. Won't just pop you off. Can somebody come in this room with me and set this alarm off? Put that thing next to this thing. What is up with this SV7? Why? I mean, why do they like it so much? I'm, it was just easier to set it off. Is the demon in here? You should be really strong. myself I heard all kinds of noises. Do you not like having all three of us in here at the same time? We heard a little kid in here. Are you able to change your voice and mimic people? Do you want to try the SB7 Josh? Yeah. 
Like I said, my name's Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. Can you tell me your name? Do you hear that? Yeah. Demon. Are you really a demon? I'm something. Can you see us right now? Attack. Who are you going to attack? You come in here when other investigators, you attack them. Behind Rocky. Uh -huh. Behind Rocky. I command you, come in here with us right now. Tell me your real name. He was blowing on Rocky down in the basement. If you're in the basement, can you come up inside the house? Something back room. Okay, we're in this room now. Hit something, give us a sign. Did you live inside this house? Did you die inside this house? No. Something this house. Yeah. You know? Who's the female? Where are you at right now? Who was blowing on Rocky's face? Demons. They're demons. It came across and said, they're demons. I don't even know if you're really here. I'm going to try upstairs one more time. That's where I heard the thing say, hit him with an axe. That was weird. Okay, we're going to upstairs. You want to come upstairs with us? Please. Yeah. Where are you? Who possessed the investigator that came inside this house? Oh, did you hear that? Well, I got a cool breeze right here. Man. Holy <laughs> God, stay right here. There was something back here in this room. Did you just move this chair? No. No, not you. Oh. Can you set that alarm off out there? Sean's in that room. Can you go in there with him? Who's hurting people when they come inside this house? Anything? No, but man, it sounded like something moved. That's why I took off this way. We're not going to be here a whole lot longer. All we wanted to do tonight was talk to you. Or this could be one of those cases that just screw with you when you get home for the next two weeks. You know? Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna walk downstairs. You guys stay here for a minute, okay? Can you open one of these doors? It's back here again, blowing in my face. Hey, somebody just whisper. I mean, it sounds freaking demonic. Can you open one of these doors? Who's standing in front of Rocky? I was. Female. You can't put my hand gloves through your face. I can feel it. That was warm.
Yeah. I got a breeze down here. It's on I my said, left hand. That's right here. Dude. I said, who was blowing on Rocky? It said, I am a female. Right Ask if something's down here with me. Is something down with there with Sean? Yes, he's it's here. It's freaking moving. It's right in front of my right hand now. Holy shit. Who's behind Rocky? Can you say Rocky? Josh. What? I think I, it was like a, just a ball of coldness. And I think it's coming upstairs. Holy sh... Oh, it's back. This is like the smallest bowl of coldness I've ever felt. Can you touch my hand? Noise is out in the living room. Here, set the camera out there so it's facing you. Well, I'm here on the steps. I'm right here at the bottom of the steps. I'm gonna go in the living room, okay? Okay. Whoa! I think I just walked through it. Holy <laughs> That was freaking crazy. That's what's weird when you're in a place that's this freaking cold. That's colder than cold. And you get a cold spot that's colder than that. That helps validate the cold spots. Can you come in here? Come up to my hand. Whatever's inside this house, if there is something inside this house, it knows what it's doing. Yeah. It's had enough people in here. I think when people come in here that aren't as experienced or come in here acting all arrogant, the guy that was supposedly possessed, yeah. he asked whatever was inside this house to attach to him. Oh, well, that was stupid. I mean, what's weird is the uh, cold spots. You know, they started down in the basement, and then when we moved in here, they started having it in here. Yeah, I mean, there's no broken windows up here. That's weird. What? Turn. Now turn back towards me. I swear the shadow on the wall. What is that? Above, by, right behind the staircase. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna hit stop and just rewind it just to watch it. Let's wait, we can watch it on the way home. Josh! Why? Come down here. Go up. Uh, just stand right there by that door. Just stand there. And see if you, uh, be quiet now. And we'll just see if we hear something. Throughout the night during our investigation, we have walked past this door several times, and the door never opens. Can you please open the door, or try to? Did you get anything out the barn when you guys was out there? Or? It wasn't out there very long. You want to go out there? Or? To me, the barn felt fine. Yeah, I never felt really anything in the barn. I think the barn, there's just so many open areas. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard to judge outside versus... Oh, yeah. But like Josh said, we've got a lot that you can't really explain. I don't know. It's kind of creepy. I'll tell you what, being in this house by yourself, it's, oh my god, it's hard. What is it? Something just. Here, stand right here. Smack me in my. Here, turn around. Just don't. Something just. Smack me in the back of my leg, my pant leg. What the hell happened?
to do this. Who smacked me? Oh, there it went back on. It shut the light off. Oh, you hear that? Sorry, so he's walking. Mm -hmm. Who hit Rocky? It's like something came up and just went. <laughs> Crazy. Do you not want us to leave? There. I just told you something open or something happened over there. I didn't open that. I got cold chills. Well, well you know where I was standing, and you guys came through there. Yeah. Something opened that door. They said this door here. Holy! They well, had don't it. touch it. They've had it open before, but this door, when you shut it, it it's hard as to open. And I've been trying to get it to open a freaking door, and now look. Nuts. Because... Man, I wonder if that kid... Then, then listen to me. Look. Look uh, right there. But, I mean, you'd see... What I'm getting at is... You'll see when we walk through there and we went upstairs... The door's closed. And then you'll see when we both come back downstairs, because you came downstairs, and then I came downstairs. I'm, that thing's been closed. Was Josh in front of you? Yeah. It touched me over there. Yeah. And then we just came And we the heard that something. Heard something uh, back here at the staircase. Uh, yeah. That I thought it was upstairs. And now the f***ing door's open. That door is wide open. That door was nailed shut before. And they said that something opened it. I mean, pushed it open. Because it's not damaged. They just pushed it so hard that the nails came right out with it. Really? And that door, if you shut it, it it's hard as to open. I mean, I got Josh on film yanking on that. Oh shit! Crazy. I mean, yanking on it. Before we leave tonight, I'll show you. Cause it, it tapped Josh me. It tapped me, and then that thing over there. When we stand there. Here, hold on. It sounded hold like. On, hold on. I'm sorry, I should be. Fine. I'm sorry. So we're standing over there. I got a hit in the leg, and then. And we stand in front of that cam, the camera, over there. And then all of a sudden we, we, you know, I said, sound like something was upstairs, you know, something moved or something did something. And then we come over here, and the door's wide open. We've been going back through here all night, and the door's been closed all night. What do you see? The door's open. Did you get it on video? I don't know, I doubt it. But listen to what happened, though, the whole time. Right now, I'm getting that cold breeze again. Yeah, I just felt it too. Can you shut that door? Oops. Can you open this door again for me? Can you go open that door and then we'll leave? Do you hear that? Mm-mm. Sounds like something said, hey. Do you guys have to bomb the steps? No. Huh? No, we're not at the bottom of the steps. Holy sh**. That was freaking loud. No, something just stepped down on this, like the last two steps or the floor. And then something like, like that. Hmm. But it louder. Okay, let's pack.
After a long, cold, scary night, we decide to end our investigation at the livery house. Although we cannot verify demonic activity taking place inside this house, we can say for sure the house is very haunted and the spirits are eager to make themselves known.